Do you, do you have in, in your everyday life a Rembrandt? Do you see when you wake up? Do you see a Rembrandt? No, I don't. We made it a policy from the earliest point in our collecting that it was far more important to us that as we were taking these pub these paintings out of the private domain that we were putting them back into the public domain and we felt that there was much greater joy in being able to deploy the collection than to hoard it so to the extent that we live with Rembrandts their digital reproductions beautifully framed Really? Yes. Wow, um, it's a statement. All no? of the paintings are in museums. Um, we were able to be in a position, because we had over 200 paintings, to be the only lending library in the old masters. And it's been our policy until very recently to lend anonymously. Uh, the name of the collection, as you noticed, it's not our family name. It's the Leiden collection because it's an homage to Rembrandt. Yeah. Um, but when you wake up, do you, do you look at the painting? No. Everything in, is in your head? Yes. Conceptual in a way, right? Well, one could argue that uh, Rembrandt was the first to execute art with an expressionism and with an Impressionism. Um, the best way to be able to find that common ground, that golden mean, um, is being able to have a very special pleasure, um, a very special privilege, being able to have possession of the paintings, but nonetheless to make sure that while we own them, um, it's the broader public that sees them and appreciates them. The greatest gift that we can give back to Rembrandt is to encourage that our own generation sees him in the way that past generations did as well. And that's the underlying ethos of our lending and it's the underlying ethos of our wanting to um, expose people to not only the joys of collecting, but of the joys of engaging with Rembrandt in the modern age.